Hi, this is Katkam Lessons channel and this is another video regarding the basics of working with plasticity. In this video, we will mainly focus on issues related to selecting and indicating elements of geometry. I will start by creating a box and here as you can see I have the snap to grid feature turned on and now I will create the box. I place the first point of the box at the origin of the coordinate system. A snap has appeared here and when this snap is active, left click and at this point we started drawing the box. Now using the grid we can define the dimensions of this box but we can also press the tab key and enter specific values. Here I will enter 100 mm, then I press tab again and here I enter 80 mm and then I click enter to confirm. Now we are defining the height of the box, in this case to specify a specific dimension value I press the D key and enter 50 mm. Click enter and we have created the box. At this moment this box is selected and this frame indicates that if I click the left mouse button outside the box, the box will be deselected. Here as you can see we have the display of hidden lines turned on. This command is responsible for that. We can turn it off by clicking here or we can use the keyboard shortcut Alt Z. When it comes to selecting and indicating geometry in plasticity, we have several different types of geometry here. We have vertices, we have edges, we have faces and we have solids. If we want to point to only specific elements, we need to select the appropriate command from these icons. If I want to select only vertices, I select this command and I can select vertices. However, there are no vertices here, so I will switch to edge selection and at this point I can only select edges and this can be edges of solids as well as other geometries. If we had some curves here we could also select them using this command. Now when I select an edge on this model the command that we could apply to this edge will automatically be selected. This is a suggestion from Plasticity, here the edge rounding command has been selected by default. By dragging this symbol we can add either a chamfer or a rounding depending on which direction we drag. And ok, to accept this right click and the command has been applied. This default selection of commands comes from the settings. We can specify this in the preferences, select preferences and here in the general section we have the option that automatically invokes commands checked. I think we can leave this as it will be very useful in many cases. If we select an edge and don't want to use this command we can choose another command. We will go over this in the upcoming videos. Now I right click and we will move on to other geometry selection options. Next we have face selection. If we select this we can select faces. Here as you can see the offset face command has been selected by default. Now if I drag this symbol I can add offset to this face. In this case we can enlarge or reduce this solid. And to accept this right click and it has been accepted. Now when it comes to selection we can select entire solids. By selecting this solid it will be highlighted and if you would like to quickly switch between these selection modes you can do so using the keys on the keyboard. Key 1 is for vertex selection, key 2 is for edge selection, key 3 is for face selection, key 4 is for solid selection and key 5 activates all modes. I will return for a moment to face selection. I press 3 on the keyboard and now if I select this face I can press the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus 2 and the face selection has been converted to edge selection. As for those other commands we can access them by clicking this icon or we can also press the F key on the keyboard. 
If I type convert, we have several conversions mode here. In this case, we used the convert to edge command, which means what was selected has been converted to edge selection. This can also be very useful in many cases. I click escape and here I also click escape to exit this command. And ok, these were the basic issues concerning the selection and indication of geometry elements in plasticity. And that's all for today, thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.